Hi everyone, welcome to the video. I haven't formally chatted with you. I know that I've taken you along my day, but this is the first time that I'm sitting down and saying hello. Welcome to the video. I wanted to film a little weekend vlog not really sure, like there's nothing planned for it. I just kind of wanted to bring you along with whatever I get up to. I honestly don't really have any set plans. I did want to talk about some books and catch you up on what I'm currently reading. I was actually reading Say It Again in a nice voice and I've been trying to read this for what feels like weeks at this point and I can't get past the very beginning. I have started and stopped and started and stopped like four times and I just don't find myself gravitating towards it. But there's like one section where she's starting to talk about her job and like the place that she works and I'm like struggling to read that part where I don't know if it feels clunky or what but I'm just like not understanding what she's trying to say so it could be a me thing or maybe I'm just like not vibing with her writing in this one but yeah I don't know I'm gonna DNF this one for now maybe at some point I will pick it back up and see how I feel about it but for now I'm just gonna put it down I don't want to get into a slump, so we're going to move on. But the book that I decided to pick up is actually the book club that I'm in. We all voted, and this is the book club. The book club. <laughs> this is the book that ended up winning, so it's Sorrow Land by River Solomon. I've never read anything by River Solomon, but this author has been on my list, and specifically Sorrow Land has been on my list to read. So I'm really excited for this because I think it's more like sci-fi, so I'm kind of excited for a little bit of a change. I did start it this morning morning when we were at the coffee shop waiting for Jibby, but I'm only 14 pages in, but the writing is really beautiful, and I'm also doing a tandem audio book, physical book. The audiobook narrator is so, so good. So what I know so far, and from a little bit of the synopsis that I read, is that we're following this character named Vern, and she is pregnant, and she escapes this, like, very religious compound that she was, like, born and raised in. So she escapes that, and she's currently like in the forest giving birth. So that's as much as I've gotten through. There's like some stuff in it that I definitely don't fully understand. Like she talks about this person called like the fiend. So there's definitely like things that I just don't know about yet and I'm really curious to find out more about. So this is what I'm going to be reading. I will not be finishing it during this video because I'm not going to finish this book this weekend, but so far it's really, really good. Audiobook's really good and I'm excited to be reading A River Solomon. But I was also debating picking up maybe a graphic novel. I want to take a look and see if my library through Hoopla has any graphic novels that I might want to read. I know that there's some Benji Nate. I read Hellphone and I loved it. It was so good, but I didn't realize that there was supposed to be like a second one and I don't think that one's out yet. So I was left wanting more, but would love to read another Benji Nate. They have Catboy. That one might be fun. Oh my God, it is like taking forever to load. Hello. Okay, so there's Catboy. Look at the cover. It's so cute. So that might be a contender. It might be. I'm just going to borrow it because <laughs> I really want to read it. There's like so many. Nimona's on here. Lights is on here. I think Lights is the second one. There's like so many good ones. I feel like I've heard The Many Deaths of Layla Starr. That, that's been recommended. The Tea Dragon Society. I've heard that that's like really, really cute. That might be good. This looks so cute. Lorna by Benji Nate. There's something about Benji Nate's art that I just really like. So there's also Lorna. Lorna's like any other girl. She loves cats. She's incredibly awkward and she won't hesitate to pull a knife on those that displease her. So maybe I'll do Lorna and Catboy. This might be like a Benji Nate little reading vlog. Yeah, those are what I'm hoping to read this weekend. I'll probably actually dip into the graphic novels tonight because I am just getting over like a headache. My head was hurting earlier and I was feeling not 100%, so I kind of want to take it slow, read a graphic novel. I might also watch 
crash landing into you. I think it's crash landing, not crash. Yeah, I think it's crash landing into you. And that was recommended to me by Ivana and I have been like loving it. That has been such a like comforting show. So I might also watch an episode of that. If you have any like K-drama recommendations, please leave them down below because I really want to dip my toes in. So far, I'm really loving Crash Landing Into You and would love to watch more. I'm honestly debating watching the Chicken Nugget <laughs> K-drama because that seems like so ridiculous and like a really funny show to watch. So that one's also on my list. I don't know if it's any good. I don't really watch K-dramas, so I don't really know what to look out for. On my Instagram, I posted about how I wanted to start watching more K-dramas, and Patty left one in like a comment. I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember the, the title of it, but I'll include a screenshot of it. And I looked it up after she had left that comment, and it sounds so sweet. So that one's also on my list. I think that that'll be like a really cute, wholesome one. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know. I'm trying to get into my K-drama era. But yeah, I just wanted to say hello, check in. I'm so excited to just like get comfy cozy on the couch and start reading a graphic novel. So let's go do that.
Hello, I have yet to speak to the camera today, but if the lighting looks weird, it's because it's dark out right now and I'm finally sitting down to just have a little chat, check in, close out this video. But today was really fun. This morning, I spent a lot of the morning just recording. I was having some issues with my phone storage and I kept having to like stop, delete things, start again, stop delete things, start again. So that took up like a big chunk of my morning and kind of stressed me out. But the rest of the day was so much fun. We went to the MFA and we checked the Hallyu exhibit and that was really, really cool and really fun. And then we went to Kayo Matcha and that opened today. Not today. I don't know why I said today. That opened like very recently and the line was insane. But, you know, we stuck it out. We waited in that line. I don't even know how long we waited, but we ended up getting a matcha soft serve. I got a passion fruit, green tea, and we got a little ube crepe cake and it was so delicious. It was really, really good. But after that, as you saw, we went to the Brookline Booksmith because I had some books that I wanted to get. So I'll do a little bit of a haul. It's super, super tiny. I only ended up getting two books. Oh, I forgot I got these. I also got these. So I got these candy fish. And the last time that I was there, I was there with Ivana and that's when we met up with Liz. And Ivana got these like candy fish and she got the sour raspberry flavor. They're from Sweden and it says gluten-free, vegan, and natural flavor. And this was so good. Like we could not stop snacking on them when she bought them. She was so kind to share them with me because they were really, really good and we finished the bag. But I looked and I noticed that they also had the sour blueberry flavor. So we already dug into this one and it was really good too. So this is just gonna be like a new thing. Whenever I go to Brookline Booksmith, I'm going to pick up some of these sour candies because they were so good. If you're ever there, I highly recommend, or if you're anywhere that sells these candy fish, I don't know what the name of the brand is. I'm not going to be able to pronounce this. I did not look it up, but here it is in case you're curious. So good. So, so good. So that's like a new favorite. Like I said, I've been searching high and low for a copy of Sula and I couldn't find one. I checked today to see if they had any used and I didn't come across any. So I said like, I'm just gonna buy a new. So I got myself a new copy of Sula and I'm just so excited because I want to make Jacob read this. I just like want him to read it and experience Sula. And also I just wanna reread it at some point and now I can annotate it. I wish I would have had this earlier because this morning I filmed my like reading wrap up of some books I've read recently and I didn't have this. So I wish I would have had it during that but I have it now and I'm super pumped but another book that I was specifically looking for and I was hoping that I'd be able to find it used was The Lying Life of Adults something The Lying Life Adults by Elena Ferrante and I did not find it but I did find Troubling Love by Elena Ferrante and there's like I don't know why like someone like cut it in a triangle I'm probably gonna like tape it or put some washi tape, <laughs> which will probably make this look really, really weird and janky, but that's fine. I am trying to look past it. I almost put this back and Jacob was like, no, like it's not a big deal. Just buy it. So I got it used. It was $8. And the reason why I was looking for the other book, The Lying Life of Adults, whatever it is, is because I'm trying to put together my TBR or books that I want to bring to read while I'm in Colombia. And that was going to be one of them. But now I'm debating bringing this one. While I'm on the topic of books that I want to bring to Colombia, I am trying to pick some books and I'm not really good at picking books for trips. I feel like I never bring the right books or at least nothing that like pulls me in while I'm on vacation. So I'm looking for super like plotty books, but I did want to bring two books physically. So I might bring this one and I might bring or no, I don't think I might bring. I think I'm definitely going to bring Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I haven't read anything by Gao, and that feels like a crime because I'm Colombian and <laughs> what? why have I not read any of his books? So I'm going to be bringing this one and I was talking to Kat about it and she said that this one might be good because it felt a little bit easier to get into than like 100 Years of Solitude, for example. I feel like that's going to take 
a lot of brain power. So these are the two books that I'm thinking about bringing on my trip. But if there's any books that you've brought on vacation with you that you just really enjoyed and thought that it was like a really fun read for your trip, please let me know. I think on my Instagram, I'm also gonna do a little poll if you want to leave recommendations there or leave them in the comments. Anything that's gonna like really suck me in. I think I need a lot of plot. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah, those are all the things that I got while I was at Brookline Booksmith. Today was just really fun and honestly, this whole weekend has been really, really fun. So I'm glad that I brought you along for it. And I hope that you have enjoyed the video. I don't think I'll be filming anything else, but if I do, it'll just be at the very end. But if not, this is the end of the video. And I really appreciate you for clicking and for watching and for being here. I hope you're doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.